How can you tell if you are manifesting your desires? Simply look for these five signs. Five signs that you are manifesting your desires. What signs should you look for to see if you are manifesting your desires? Is there an easy way to tell if it's actually working? While manifesting some things happens quickly, for others it may take days, weeks, months, or even years. That's a long time to go without any feedback from the universe. But is the universe really silent, or is it giving you little sparks of encouragement along the way? Here are five signs that show you that you're still on the right track. 1. Feelings You feel a sense of relief and pleasant anticipation when you think of your desire. The hard work of deciding on and allowing yourself to accept what you want is done. You've placed your order and you know it's on its way. While you know that you may need to put in some work and action to create what you want, you have a clear destination. You know what you want. You know it's attainable. You know that you will have it and you've let go of any struggle and attachment to the outcome. 2. Synchronicities Synchronicities are the fun and seemingly magical parts of manifesting. These can appear in many different ways. Awareness You notice things around you that relate to your intention. If you want a new red sports car, you start to notice red sports cars everywhere you go, on the road, in parking lots, on the television and internet. You overhear people talking about red sports cars. You open a magazine and see an advertisement for them. Suddenly, the world seems to be full of red sports cars. Ideas You come up with ideas of ways to create what you desire. These ideas can come from anywhere at any time. You may wake up from a dream with an idea for a new business. You may be reviewing your product line and think of a perfect addition that you had never thought of before. Inspiration and Inspired Actions Inspired actions are following through on your own intuition or gut feelings. It's like when you have a nagging feeling that you should do or not do something. All of us have experienced this at one time or another, especially the not do, usually prefaced by, hold my beer and watch this. Different than regular thoughts, this type of inspiration is a feeling, and feelings are your connection to your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is continuously absorbing information from all around you, far more than your conscious mind is able to process. While you may not be consciously aware of a car in the blind spot beside you, your subconscious mind is and gives you the nagging feeling to look over your shoulder before changing lanes. If you're not used to noticing your gut feelings, it can take a bit of practice to learn the difference in the two, but it's worth it. While your thoughts can lead you astray, your gut feelings are a clear channel to your subconscious mind. Opportunities and Resources You become aware of opportunities and resources that you didn't notice before. Someone mentions a book or website that answers a question you had or solves a problem. A course you wanted to buy suddenly goes on sale. A business opportunity opens up. Some of them may not be quite what you were looking for, but they may lead you to other opportunities and resources. Synchronicities come in all sizes, large or small, useful or just encouraging. They're the fun signpost along the way that help you steer your course to manifesting your desires. 3. Obstacles Obstacles? Are obstacles really a sign that things are manifesting? Yes. Don't be surprised if you find yourself dealing with a flood of negative thoughts or other problems or issues. This is one way your subconscious mind will show you what you need to resolve in order to manifest what you want. For example, if your goal is to lose weight and get healthy, you may find yourself struggling with old negative thought patterns. These old beliefs and habits need to be examined and changed in order to manifest your goal. Your subconscious mind is bringing them up now so that you can pinpoint exactly what beliefs are keeping you stuck. By recognizing and accepting them, you acquire the power to change them. Perhaps you start exercising and end up injuring yourself. This could be showing you that you pushed your body too hard and need to treat yourself with care, or that you hate your exercise routine and need to find a more enjoyable type of exercise. 
Obstacles give you the opportunity to make changes in your thoughts, habits, and life that will support the desires that you are manifesting. 4. Manifesting things that don't quite fit. Sometimes you may manifest what you think is your desire, but it doesn't quite fit. The perfect mate appears in your life, but there's no chemistry. Or the great new job comes with an abusive new boss. Does it mean that you did something wrong, that your manifesting didn't work? Not at all. This is merely an exercise in fine-tuning your desire. You have a choice. You can settle for something that doesn't fit, or you can move on and keep aiming for your true intention. Imagine that the universe has a huge catalog of possibilities. It's just showing you one option out of many. You decide which option you want. There are always more fish in the sea. You may come across several possibilities that don't quite fit for different reasons, but each one helps you to narrow down your intention to what is truly important to you. 5. Manifesting what you want only to realize you don't really want it. Be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. So what do you do if you manifest something only to realize you don't really want it? Chalk it up as a learning experience. Anytime you desire something, what you truly want is how you would feel to have it. Maybe you want a million dollars. So what do you want to feel? You may want to feel financially secure, happy, safe, or at peace. The desire is just the vehicle you use to experience the feeling. Which is kind of funny when you think about it. In order to manifest something, you imagine how you would feel to have it. Then you manifest it so that you can experience the feeling of having it. If you manifested what you wanted only to discover that you didn't want it after all, you're actually halfway there. You may have hit the wrong target, but you're at the right tree. You know you can manifest things. You just need to take a closer look at what you truly wanted to get out of it. Signpost Signs are just reminders to help you bring your focus back to what you intend to manifest. They reflect the changes you're making in your own thought and belief patterns. They help you to fine-tune your intentions and determine what you truly want. In addition, they can give you reassurance that you're on the right path. However, a quick word of caution. Focus on your desire instead of focusing on signs. As the Law of Attraction states, like attracts like. The more you look for signs, the more signs you'll get. Instead, just focus on manifesting your intention and enjoy the signs you receive along the way. The key to the Law of Attraction is learning how to manage your mind. If you would like to learn how to harness the power of your mind, bypass negative thoughts, and break through the hidden roadblocks that are holding you back, check out my free report. How to Activate Your Manifesting Mind. Simply click the link below to get more info and download it absolutely free. Manage your mind and manifest your destiny.